Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a task entity, DTO and the repository in Spring Boot application. So let's get started. You can see here the enums package. I'm going to create here the new enum with the name task status. First one we have pending. Second we have in progress. Third we have completed. Second last we have default. And the last we have answered. After the task status enum, I'm going to create here the new class inside the entities package that is a task. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a at the rate entity to make this class as a table in the database. And after that, I'm going to add here the notation that is a at the rate data to create the getter and the setters of the properties. So the first property I'm going to create here that is a private long ID and it will be a primary key. So let me add here the notation that is a at the rate ID and second notation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate generated value strategy. I'm going to select here generation type dot identity. Second property I'm going to create here that is a private string title. Third property I'm going to create here that is a private string description. Fourth property I'm going to add here that is a private date and the due date. Let me put the data type from the java.eud. Fourth property, we have private string priority. Second last, we have task status. And the last, we have a relationship with the user entity. So it will be a private user and the user. On the top, I'm going to add a generation that is at the rate many to one. And inside the Milana brackets, I'm going to define here the fetch type that is a fetch type dot lazy. And second, it will be a optional that is a false. Second notation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate join column. Let me define here the column name that is a user underscore ID. And the null label it will be a false. Fourth notation I'm going to add here that is a on delete. And it will be a on delete action dot cascade. Last property we have a JSON ignore. So these are the properties for the task entity. After this, I'm going to create here the method that is a get task DTO before creating the method let's go to DTO's package and here I'm going to create a new class with the name task DTO on the top I'm going to add the notation that is at the rate data let me copy the properties from the task entity let me paste inside the task DTO class and here I'm going to add the few more properties that is a private long employee ID and the last we have private string employee name Let's go to task entity and here I'm going to create a method that is a get DTO. It will be a public and the return type of this method that is a task DTO and of the method that is a get task DTO. Inside this method, I'm going to create here the object of the task DTO. Let me set here the ID and we will get ID from the entity. After this, I'm going to set here the title and we'll get title from the entity. Let's set here the description and we need to give here the description task DTO dot set employee name and we'll get employee name from the relationship that is a user dot get name. After this, I'm going to set here the user ID. Actually, it will be an employee ID. Let's go to task DTO. Let me update this property and it will be an employee ID. And we need to give here the user dot get ID. After this, I'm going to set here the task status and we need to give here the task status. Task DTO dot set due date and we need to give it the due date. And the last we need to set here that is a priority. After this, we need to return here the object that is a task DTO. Now you can take a look of the task entity. Let's go to the repositories package and here I'm going to create a new interface with the name task repository. On the top, I'm going to add the notation that is a at the rate repository to make this interface as a repository in the Spring Boot application. Let me extend this interface with the JPA repository to override some methods from the JPA. So we need to give here the entity that is a task. And second, we need to give here a data type of the primary key that is a long. Let me import this task. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.